Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I had some specific items that I was shopping for um, and I did hit the jackpot on one of those items. Um, another item I was looking for, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find, but that's okay. I still have time to find it. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a few minutes until my husband comes home with my kids from school, so um, I may have to rush a little bit. So the thing that I went looking for is some more of the Premier Just Chenille yarn. So my Dollar Tree does have a decent selection of yarn sometimes. So it's kind of hit and miss. You go in and you'll be surprised sometimes by what they have and be like, oh, yay, this is awesome. And then other times you go in and you're like, oh, my gosh, um, there's like nothing here. But it always is a mess. That is one thing I will say. But, you know, it's cheap, so <laughs> we put up with it. But um, so if you haven't ever seen it, uh, this is the Just Chenille yarn and it is a 100% polyester yarn. It's 65 yards, it's a number six. And I really love to make amigurumi out of it. Um, here is one that I made recently, a little baby octopus by All From Jade here on YouTube. So I really just fell in love with it and wanted to go see if they had some more colors. Last time I went, they barely had anything. I was able to get the pink, um, this black, and the purple, and that's pretty much it. But there's a color that I have been eyeing for a while, and they had it today. And that color is the mango. I just really love this peachy color. Um, it's just so beautiful. So I picked up two of these. I ended up getting two of every color that I found, but then just one of another color. It's this pink right here. It's called Flamingo, so the same pink as that octopus, but I just got one of those. I think that's all they had, actually, is why I only got one of those. Um, so I got two of these. They did have maybe five of them, and I was debating on getting all of them, but I wanted to leave some for other people, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm on a budget, so I didn't need to just go crazy. So I got these two, and I can't wait to make something out of these. Let me know if you guys have any amigurumi ideas for these colors of yarn. Then the next one is this lime color. Of course, very bright green and beautiful. I really love this as well. Um, fun fact, lime green used to be my very favorite color. I still like it a lot, but it's not my favorite anymore. But when I was a teenager, I loved lime green. Lime green and pink was like everything to me, <laughs> which it looks like it still is my favorite color. I mean, oh well. <laughs> But, um, by the way, look at these together. Doesn't this just look like rainbow sherbet? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> I love all the colors, and they're so tropical. Sorry if you can hear music. Um, <laughs> another fun fact, I actually live with my grandpa, and um, he can't hear that well anymore, and he's down there watching TV, so he has it turned up super loud. <laughs> So, <laughs> sorry about that. Let me go close my door real quick. Okay, that's better. So, the next item is um, this brown color. So, this is called Cocoa, and just a really pretty um, light colored brown, which I just thought would be good for amigurumi of some sort. Um, I was kind of thinking of this ice cream cone. Oh gosh, I almost dropped it behind my shelf. My husband would have been so <laughs> annoyed if I did that because I actually <laughs> dropped this back there yesterday when I was trying to put up the this garland that I made. Sneak peek for Thursday's video right there. <laughs> but um, I was thinking about this um, being a good color for something like a cone or something. Um, it is darker, of course. Ice cream cones are more of this color, but I don't know. I was just thinking it would be cute for some kind of amigurumi. I'm not going to try to put this back up there right now. <laughs> I'll wait till after. <laughs> okay, and then the last yarn item that I bought is this Crafter's Square Sparkle Yarn. And it's 100% polyester. 
and I normally am not drawn to things like this, like eyelash yarn or sparkle yarn, stuff like that, but something about this I just loved, and I thought this might make some kind of really cute Christmas project. I was thinking maybe like an ornament, even if I held this together with a solid color and made like an ornament or something with it. Um, I just thought that would be really fun. This is 145 yards, so quite a bit. It's classified as... It's not classified <laughs> at what weight it is, but I mean, it's, you know, it's a little thin strand with stuff coming off of it. So <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I just don't know why, but I was super drawn to this and can't wait to come up with a project for it. And then the next item are these wooden beads. I just thought these were so nice for the dollar store. Um, they are just these oval shape. And my idea for these is um, I've been really into making like bags and stuff lately. I haven't made a ton of them, but um, I did make a boho bag recently. And then a few months ago, I made another bag um but i just thought this would be super cute for detail on like um a bag so like if i did like a little drawstring or something and put some beads on it i just thought that would be really cute also um i've seen where some people do christmas ornaments and put like a bead at the bottom i can't really explain it but um it's just really cute like a boho look like a round ornament crocheted around around it and then having like um like fringe or something hanging off the bottom with a bead on it. I don't know if you all can picture that, but it is really cute, I promise. <laughs> it's cuter than how I'm describing it. But um, there is 30 in here, so um, I thought that was a great deal. Okay, I think my husband's home with the kids, so the last thing is um, these detailing scissors. So I saw where Erica from It's Time for Yarn, she hauled these and I was like, that is perfect because I have this little bag that I keep my stitch markers in and my embroidery or pff, embroidery yarn needles in and my scissors don't fit in it. And it's always such a, like a hassle to carry those around or whatever. Um, and so these are just the perfect size. So happy to have these. Thanks Erica for <laughs> hauling these. Y'all should go check out her Dollar Tree haul she did recently as well. Um, but uh, that is it. So um, I spent about $17. Um, I did buy a couple aluminum baking pans uh, for Thanksgiving. Didn't think that was worth sharing with you guys. <laughs> but definitely stay tuned for Thursday's video. I have been hard at work this week making so many different things um, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So oh before I forget let me get a Bible verse and I will be right back. So I have decided to work my way through the New Testament starting in Matthew. So I've been reading that lately. And um, so I wanted to read out of there today. So Matthew 6, uh, 19 through 21 is what I'm going to share with you guys. And it says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So um, just an awesome verse. Matthew is really interesting, you know, just to read about Jesus's life and ministry is such a blessing. I'm just so thankful we have his word um, to show us who Jesus is. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, may God bless you and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye.